During this project, I've worked alongside educators, historians, and the participants, um, the young people, who unlock stories that relate to the First World War through the accounts of unknown soldiers, people that weren't well known and went to war and died at war, and also the names that are household names, such as the poet Isaac Rosenberg, Sylvia Pankhurst, who was also from Wanstead. Initially, we looked at Cyril Page's documents. He was a soldier in the First World War who lived in Wanstead. And so the, the first part of my research um, looked at Cyril Page with the students and tried to piece together his story. I then moved on to look at the O'Donoghue brothers, and that's the basis of my film. So I was talking to members of staff at the Redbridge Museum and uh, they told me about the O'Donoghue brothers who um, grew up in Ilford and, and went to war when they were in their early 20s. They have a fantastic collection of, of letters um, from the trenches, uh, the mud and the rain and the, the kind of thick paste that they had to wade through um, as they were moving through the landscape. And I think that visually for me was the, the kind of beginnings of the, the film in terms of the, the landscape that I wanted. I've also been looking at objects in the collection at the Redbridge Museum, such as the Kodak Vest pocket camera. Um, and it's the same model that was taken over by the soldiers and used in the trenches. So this was unofficial photography. So soldiers were going out and documenting their experiences and sending those back to their families. So this camera I was drawn to because it's like looking through somebody else's eyes almost. It's an extension of somebody's body. So this piece of equipment really brings you closer to the soldiers who used it in the trenches. The students put together a really fantastic documentary through working as a, a group of historians and, and bringing together these artefacts in a really coherent way. And I found that really inspiring um, that you know they helped me to piece bits of a story together. They, they had interpretations and, and perspectives that young people have when they're really free and they don't have particular methodologies as, as adults tend to, to have. And so that was really freeing for me, you know, and I, I started to think about things in a different way. I think this project has completely changed my perception of, of the First World War, of the way in which we live, in the way that the map is drawn, in the way that gender equality is as we know it today. I didn't realise how much the First World War had impacted on contemporary society.